guys, it's Danielle with Danielle Gets It Done, and this is my pregnancy update for week 34. Gonna love you, honey, on and on and on. I'm a morning dove singing out a song. All right, I'm gonna try to cruise through this. My husband and son are gonna be home any minute, and you know, it'll be too loud. So, baby is the size of a butternut squash, which is huge and so good. Love some butternut squash. 17.7 inches, 4.63 pounds. It is getting so big. And it's reacting to sounds and noises and songs. A lot of women are swollen right now. I'm still not that swollen. I was with James. Like, it got so bad. Um, so that's good. Okay, and then it also says constipation is really normal right now. I'm TMI, but it is a pregnancy video. I am having the opposite problem with loose stools slash diarrhea, um, which makes me a little nervous. So last week I had that labor scare. You can go watch it, but I was having a lot of painful contractions and I got checked and everything was good. Those are actually better this week. I'll talk about that. But I am having um, this issue with the opposite of constipation and I feel like that is usually a sign that labor is around the corner so I'm like still paranoid about that. But I think before labor that happens often because your body is like making room for everything and kind of cleaning everything out. So I don't know. I did kind of go on the internet and talk to Google and I guess it's not that uncommon to have that this early and still not go into labor until your full term, but it's making me a little nervous. However, like I said, the cramping and uh, contractions have gotten a little bit better. They still happen. I'm still getting racks and hicks like every time I move. Like I roll over in bed and will get a bad Braxton hick. <laughs> hicks. Yeah. They just happen all the time. Um, and I still get the more scary period like cramps lower in my uterus and my body that really concerned me last week. But that's definitely happened less and less. And I found maybe a correlation that makes me really excited. So I've been doing spinning babies, which I talked about in my pregnancy, natural pregnancy essentials video, which I think will come out before this. So I will link that above and below. But it is basically like daily moves you do to get your body to, um, ready for your baby to be in the best position possible for birthing. Because the better position your baby is in, the faster and smoother labor will likely be, which is what I am aiming for, a faster, smoother labor. So I had kind of been really all about it and really dedicated and then stuff happened and I took like a week off and that's actually when I started getting those bad contractions and I started doing my spinning babies moves more frequently and it seems to have lessened the contractions. So my theory is that the baby isn't or wasn't in the best position and my body was trying to move him or her through these contractions which can totally happen and is pretty normal. So now I'm actually thankful for the contractions and for the cramps because they kind of remind me to work on my posture, you know, leaning forward. She says you want to think of your uterus as a hammock and to be forward as much as possible. So like don't lean back and watch TV, but sit on a yoga ball and lean forward or lean forward on the couch because you want the back to be in the front of your uterus and the back goes where gravity is because it's heavy. And so if you're leaning forward more, we would hope the baby would turn and have the back in the front. So I think those exercises and being aware of my posture are maybe helping and it's a good reminder <laughs> to keep up with that. It's a lot of like yoga moves. If I do a yoga class, I kind of check off each exercise she wants me to do every day. It's a lot of like stretching and inversions and cat-cow, things like that, just to kind of balance out your ligaments and your body 
and so I've been full force again. I'm going to try really hard to at least do most of them every single day until this baby comes. Coincidentally, I was born at 34 weeks, which is what I am now. And being a mom, I cannot imagine that. Like, I think that would be so scary. They just got home. It's just kind of weird to be at that stage. Like, I don't feel nearly ready at all. I guess it's comforting to know that, like, the baby would most likely <laughs> be okay. Um, but yeah, I just have a lot of respect for those NICU moms out there. I think that would be so stressful. Um, ugh, just so stressful. So I'm hoping this baby will stay in here and I'm gonna continue doing my spinning babies and yoga. And I hope you enjoyed this quick update. My husband and son just got home. So I'm going to wrap this up and enjoy my Saturday. I hope you have a wonderful day. Please subscribe if you have not already. Give this video a thumbs up. And I'll see you next time. Have a wonderful day and whatever your plans are. I hope you get them done. Bye, guys. Ooh.